how to use port environment variable when deploying a Docker app on Heroku. That's today's video. Let's dive into it. So did you ever get the error um, web process failed to bind to port within 60 seconds of launch? But the crucial part is to change the constant port number to the environment variable capital P-O-R-T, which is set by Heroku. So in my Docker file, the last line executes the command Python server.py. So inside this server.py script, which I'm opening now, and in the argument parser, uh, you can see I've put the default value for the port argument to be this port value, whatever that port is. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, so now that we have all of this set up, uh, we can go ahead and do the following steps to deploy the Docker app on Heroku. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal inside the directory where your Docker file is. So if I do an ls here, you can see I have my Docker file here for my app. And let's go ahead and do Heroku login. So this assumes that you have the Heroku command line interface already installed. It's gonna pop up a browser when I press enter. Click on login. As my session has expired, I'm gonna click login again. And because I have two-factor authentication, I need to put in the code. Okay, I've successfully authenticated. I can close this page and return to the command line interface. Okay, so I close this. And you can see now I'm logged in. Next step, we have to log in to the Heroku container registry uh, so we can push the Docker image to the server. All right, so we do Heroku container login. Okay, login succeeded. So now Heroku create name of the app, good ways Yolo P5. So this is what you will have to do if the app doesn't exist already. So I'm going to skip this step and press Control C because I've already got the app. Once you've created the app, uh, all we have to do is do Heroku Container Push Web App and then the name of the app, uh, Race Yolo V5. So now it's pushing the Docker image from local to your group container registry. Okay, so once the app has been successfully pushed, you can now release it to uh, container release command. Uh, we're gonna type Heroku container for long release, and then we're gonna release it to the web. And the app name is called Good Heroku V5. Answer done. Right, that's it. So all we have to do now, if you want to view the app, is to use the command Heroku open app, and then the name of the app. It should open up a browser. First time, it might take a while because the dyno which is serving the app is sleeping. Okay, and that's it. Uh, we can see that the app is fully loaded. Um, it is being hosted on Heroku. So this is how you deploy a Docker app onto Heroku with a dynamic port using the environment variable port. I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below.